Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jevin here again and with uh, Windsor here. Hello. Yeah, there's, there's us taking a look at Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah, the game that took 15 years to make. I can't wait. Yeah. Well, I can say one thing, I just played the single player campaign. And to be very frank, since I bought it at like during the Steam sale, I think on Monday, uh, last Monday, I think, was it? Uh, twenty eight Jan. Uh, I which date was it? But it was it was five dollar at some point. Having finished it, yeah, I thought it was decent. If uh maybe I come to a point where I can actually give a rating for my single player, like maybe uh two and a half star out of five. This is probably what I will give. Uh yeah, my so let's take a look at the options. Uh, here's uh, one thing. Uh, this is a piece. This is a post patch version. So. Um, the PC version has been patched to include a uh, expanded inventory, uh, which now includes four weapons. You can toggle that on and off. Four weapons. Yeah, last time uh, at yes, launch, yes. at launch it was two weapons, right? I don't know. I mean, I thought the original game used was seven. Yeah, eight seven, slots. eight. But the criticism, main criticism of the this uh, this version in Unicorn Forever was that it had only two weapons. So the, the PC version has been patched recent uh, in I think sometime back to include four weapons. Uh. Remember remember the good old days where Duke Nukem's used to have about uh, yeah. nine or uh, seven or nine slots for weapons, your rocket launchers, grenades yeah. and the idea was that you wanna you wanna tacticalize and use uh, specific weapons for specific em- enemies. I mean you can use a bazooka on a single enemy but you have to save up on the minute. Yeah, I, I having have you played Duke Nukem 3D? I've seen the gameplay. I, I, I actually only I played a little bit of it. Uh. Yeah, and there are also very... secret areas and these secret areas are ne- necessary for, for winning this game because you need supplies, you need better weapons and finding these secret areas will help. I don't know whether this game has, I don't think it has. It's okay. very linear. Yeah, it's, uh, are yeah here's the thing, it's very linear but it do, I think you're not enjoy this game, you got to just think, don't expect too much of it. Uh. You just think of it as a brainless shooter. Uh. Okay, uh, now that I finished the single-player campaign, right, there's some uh, unlockables that I managed to unlock, uh, which is some bunch of it is, uh, I think, development timeline, yeah. Basically, you want to know how it's like the timeline from June, uh, May 1996 all the way to, I think, 2011. Uh. So, this, what I heard, this version, this version of the game that you're playing started development back in 2007. Yeah, um, yeah so I think... Maybe that's why I look at the graphics. Uh, if we, in fact, it, it's the I show you. Uh, I think the graphics to me look more like Quick Four standard. Yeah, is it definitely looks dated by the comparison to two thousand eleven shooters. Uh. I think this is the only game I know of that has a down uh as a development <laughs> timeline. Yeah. So weird. I've never seen that in a video game before. Yeah, but it's nice. Uh, it, since this have a very interesting history. And here's the thing, maybe because of its development history, this game will only appeal to a certain audience uh, who want to find out about what, what happened to this game. Uh. If you are already looking for something like a great shooter to do, then I don't think this game is for you. Uh. But if you want to see what has happened, I think it's worth a try, but it's not totally unplay- unplayable from what I played. Humor rise is okay, but... I- uh, I think go. I think maybe when you when we go into the gameplay later, you we'll just say you see about at Duke's line, uh, and you see why it's like being as in rain. Or maybe you try. Maybe we start with this chapter. Uh, play Lex Flop. So if I understand, if you guys played this on a console, the load times are very bad and the frame rate is very bad. But on my PC, uh, actually it runs quite well. But sometimes when it's when it's saving checkpoints at time, the you start to have some occasional starters. So that's the only issue. Uh, but otherwise, the frame rate is actually quite smooth. And um, yeah, for information, I'm playing this with a controller. Does this guy look familiar to you? Uh, Think of a certain. Metal Gear. Actually, snake. Look like Snake, but actually it's a... Think if we find this vibe, that's from Gears of War. <laughs> uh. it's, a clear, it's a clear spoof of Gears of War. That's one, that's one thing you can say about Duke, right? Is that... Duke at least has a character. Whether it's likeable or not is another thing, but... If you look at what the so-called... Yeah, pussies. Look at the ego meter, isn't that like your... Your, your uh, shield? <laughs> It's like the same thing, you know. Yeah. So you call it 
So you what? What are you doing? You pussy. <laughs> okay. Uh, what, what was I saying? Uh, well, yeah, Duke, Duke as a character, lah. Uh, at least he has a personality. You, you look at a lot of modern military shooters, uh, the characters are uh, the protagonists that uh, you're playing, uh, It's just bland, uh. At least, even though he's 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 a bit unlikable, or he just ego egoistic, uh, At least he's somewhat interesting. I, I, I it's not he's not the, boring. You know? I think it's because they want they want realism. Yeah, they were going for the realistic feel, but it doesn't necessarily apply when you want your players to care yeah. about the characters. So you're referring to the modern MMS or modern modern yeah MMS. Yeah, but in a way, I don't think people who ex who are who are criticizing Duke for the humor, I think they they should they they are they are approaching her wrong uh. It's like in the first place, Duke is never meant to be serious uh. So why why take this game so why take the game's uh offensive humor so seriously? It's supposed to be tongue in cheek all this time. Yeah. So you can actually actually it's, it is tongue in cheek, but in a way the jokes feel a bit lazy. Uh. Oh my god! Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Can you take a look between those two textures? What? Wait, 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 wait. The sandbag. The, no, the towels and the other, the rope. No, 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 not that one. Ah, uh, yeah, that one over there. Where's the seam? Where's the seam? This one. Oh, oh, I already, I already. <laughs> Alright. Oh, shit, that is quite bad. Oh, okay, where, where was the texture seam, is it? This one. Whoa, what? Does he spawn right in front of me? Here, like that. Yeah, this. Whoa. Oh, my God. Okay, I mean, I, I don't think that should be a big problem. Actually, I was hoping that this game had more like a quick feel to it. You know, you can run, you can dash, you can jump out. Rock In a way, it's a, it's a bit of that lah. It's it's a run and gun shooter, like right? you can it's see. It's more like a walk and gun. More. Yeah, Duke Duke somehow become more uh lethargic. Uh. So he's like he's really at running speed. So slow. You play Duke the Gun 3D, he runs fast, man. You know when he's holding the the rocket launcher. Mm. Where's the oh oh no? I guess I want to take this laser. This laser is you are ch oh, no, no, ah! S really, really. Is this how? Is this how cheap the deaths are? Oh man. Oh, okay. Lucky is playing on PC. If you play on console, you're gonna be screaming at the, the loading times. Not not that I actually tried the console version, but I think I've seen some footage. Uh. Yeah, I think you should just uh. Hey hey hey! Just, just fire stay. from the turret. Yeah, just Don't move out of the turret, see how this thing works. Actually, later. that is how I originally played this part though. It's ridiculous. Yeah, why, this, this is why very fun. You come fighting off my entire pot using a turret. No, 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 just go to the turret. You told me not to do that. I know, <laughs> I, I know it, but why did the designers put it there? I want the shotgun. Where's the shotgun? Can you friendly fire? I don't think you can. I tried. Okay, the uh, talk about animation quality. Uh. uh you see when I shoot this guy, uh, it just it just is. I think oh, uh, I see. I uh, see. You just you don't the the guns. It, it just fall over like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, no physics. No, it just like wow. Well, like it's I I just <laughs> I just put a vi put like an instant kill. But it's like it's it's not the it doesn't the gun. As a result, the gun doesn't feel like it's impacting the the body a lot. But the only exception to this case is the 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 I call it the shotgun. When you use a shotgun, they fly rather rather in a very satisfying way. But yeah. otherwise, other, otherwise, you see, you look at look at them, they just fall over like that. Do you actually uh, do you remember when you play Rage, right? You fire yeah. one of the characters. The character will continue running, but you'll stumble forward. Yeah, they won't just fall. They won't just fall to the dark. The uh, animation the in Rage is pretty impressive. And their physics after the animation. So that means if they run forward, they stumble forward and hit a brick wall or hit a barrel, they will actually react to it. And not just no clip through the floor. Yeah. Um what I'm I think what people were criticizing about the graphics, right? I think I think the texture quality is uh oh, uh a bit dated, but I think that's not the main issue why why is bad? Uh, is I mean it's because the art direction and the color is just incredibly bl bland, uh, You know, look, yeah. look at this gray. It's like you want you uh you want to play uh you want uh, what is called a great spiritual successor to Duke Nukem 3D, right? That has raunchy humor and great shooting. I think that's it's called Bullet Storm. I think you should go and play that. 
and it's too, it's too bad that Bullet Storm yes. will, will, not, will not be making a sequel la, so that's all you're gonna get I would say this is a great engine but at least you could still make the color palette look a, li- a little bit more interesting than yeah. that uh, for I think for some potential for from what I heard right this engine is a modified uh, Unreal Engine 2.5 how old was that? I think the 2004 Unreal 2000, Engine 2004 I think 2004 the era holy shit yeah I know they mention it it's like the, I think Bio, it's like Bioshock or something like yeah, Bioshock very maybe. basic bomb maps yeah normal maps but the the rap, the maps themselves are quite re- called relatively poor quality uh. that's a very yeah. sad thing or decent uh, but you, you look up close they really look terrible uh. yeah Really? Why? Why is it? Why is it so? Why not just use the updated dull, engine? Dull and grey, you know. Did they? Did they say that it was the Unreal Engine? It's a heavily modified Unreal Engine two point five. Why not just use the existing Unreal? I think they already they already, they already start development. I think they don't want to. Why the frame rate start dropping? Oh, okay. Uh, this is horrible. But of course, yeah, it won't make sense if they change the texture. Oh yeah, software. about the sound. I'm happy to say that you know. It does, this game does use, what the f- This game does use a subwoofer channel guys So, yippee But, uh, in the, the sound mix itself uh, is actually rather bad Or not very well mixed and it's cred- incredibly weak Because, uh, the guns don't have a lot The sound generally does not have a lot of bass Doesn't have a lot of punch Yeah The explosions all that, they, they don't sound punchy at all on, even, on, even on my home theatre setup but there is a little bit of bass, but it's not nowhere near as uh, punchy as you would like. That's a shotgun, really. Can I pick up one up? Because this this devastator is really really is terrible. Oh, you spawn spawn ah. Uh. Okay. Uh, what else do I see? Okay, I must say though the the f- increase the increase uh weapon limit to four actually sort of helps improve the the gameplay of this of this version it th- a PC version a little bit better. Oh, I hate this gun's rate of fire. It's so slow, and you must you must charge it up. Hey, so it just it just fall, huh? it just fall like that. Is they don't react to like your impact. And you would rather choose the pistol over this, which defeats the purpose of using a weapon like this. Yeah, the guns, the guns in this game pretty much sucks and no impact. The only one, the only one that is satisfying to use is the shotgun. Otherwise, they're just eh. yeah. Well, this is what happened after fifteen years. I but I suppose the patching did help a little bit. Post patch. Uh, what the? Someone's attacking you from behind again. Ready. Uh, uh. Hey, I think she used a keyboard. Uh, the execution also is rather disappointing. It's just. Hey, no, no, no. Ah, shit. I wanted to see him just stuck. This. <laughs> it's rather ugly textures. They look, they look something like should have come out during the quick, quick four era, or even Gears of War one era. To me, the two, it seems like this game looks like it's from two thousand six. What do you think? Ah, I think quick four looks better than this. Quick, it's basically quick four standard uh, texture quality, but with with duller colors. Uh. No, I thought the the textures in quick look a lot more sharp than this. Quick four. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Because they utilize the bump maps a lot. A normal map, sorry. But they are here, they are some. Yeah, yeah, but it's underutilized. It doesn't look like it was. Or maybe just the, the actual quality of the, the resolution of the textures themselves are rather quite low. Uh, and it's so dull, it's so boring. Look at the level design, it's all on a single road. You are just forced through a linear path. So the, only, the only redeeming quality of this game that may be entertaining is the humor. And look at this. Look at this crater in particular. Does that even make any sense? Where does the rest of the road go? Is it vaporized? How could a piece of road over there yeah. survive for the rest of the road? They not. Yeah. You know what I mean? Was the, the